Joining us now for five insightful minutes is Spencer Hewitt, the founder and CEO of Radar, whose recent Old Navy partnership we featured in our Fast Five podcast last month. Spencer, I was pretty direct in my assessment of the likelihood that Radar's RFID platform will ever roll out to all 1,200 Old Navy stores. So tell us point blank, what did I get right and what did I get wrong in my assessment? Yeah, I think, um, you know, uh, I, th I think you're right in the sense that is a uh, it's a phased it's a phased rollout. Um, I think that, um, you know, Old, Old Navy's a the Gap Old Navy. They're they're a very smart retailer. Um, they're pretty careful um, about, about their decisions. Um, they have a great vision, I would say, for for where they think physical retail can go. Um, yeah, I'd just say like, listen, there's a reason why like American Eagle rolled it out to almost their entire fleet. Um, you know, I think you guys mentioned some kind of bet, like about putting up your house or something. I was wondering like what you might want to bet in case you were wrong. <laughs> oh man. I don't know. Let, let's talk about, we should talk about that. The, the, the Ann and I had that bet going and yeah, I don't know what you're not, you, you and I sh that should be, but I'll, I'll, I'll buy you a beer next time I see you. Yeah. I think, uh, I think, I think, uh, worst case, like if you're right, I'll get you a thousand dollar gift card to old Navy. Uh, and then if uh if i'm right then uh you know we can come back on the show and talk about it <laughs> yeah i will eat crow in front of the entire audience 100 percent, 100 percent. and like i said at the end of that podcast too i hope you are right actually i hope you are you right. Not, I, hope, I wish you the most success in, in what you're trying to do too well and spencer i i had a different opinion than chris um slightly different here but i want to know if you can just tell our audience quickly like what is it about your platform specifically and the unique special sauce that you bring to rfid and why old navy kind of chose you to roll this out um in a phased approach fleet wide yeah for sure um so you know our approach to rfid actually started with wanting to deliver autonomous checkout as a use case for the industry yeah. and like when you look at that use case it's a lot more stringent in terms of the requirements you need to meet for it so it's like your location accuracy has to be better your latency and speed updates have to be much faster uh your detect rate has to be super high um so we've architected our system to have the capability to enable autonomous checkout from the existing infrastructure that we deploy to retailers from today um and that has you know really driven core technological improvement and like one of the things that we've done differently is, you know, there were some companies that did this back in the day, like, you know, Thing Magic had like a software defined radio approach where they could basically deploy hardware, they could update the signal processing remotely. You weren't stuck with like someone's reader chip. Um, that's kind of more the approach that we've taken. So uh, we control everything from the ground up, not just the hardware and the signal processing, but also the software layer. So we really become, you know, superior core technology that's really just like one quote unquote, like throat to choke for the retailer where they don't need to worry about integrating and cobbling together a bunch of different pieces to make a coherent solution. Um, and that includes deployment and rollout management. Mm -hmm. And Spencer, I'm curious too, uh, you know, you mentioned autonomous checkout, are, are cameras and RFID readers a part of, of the solution as, as it's currently deployed or, or how, how should the audience think about that? Yeah. So we are, uh, only deploying, uh, RFID, uh, and other wireless technologies uh, within within these sensors. Got it, got it. And how robust are the deployments at this point? So like, you know, as much as you can share with us publicly, yeah. of course, you know, we want to be sensitive to that, but like how many chains, how many stores, you know, whatever you can tell us. Yeah, you guys got that right. So we're only in about 600 stores. Um, all of those stores like really started rolling out in July of last year. So we hit about okay. 100 stores a month from July of last year, uh, you know, and we're going to continue and accelerate that pace. Um, but yeah, you got it about right in the, in the last, uh, last episode. And it's currently at American Eagle and old Navy. That's what you guys have shared publicly, right? Uh, correct. Correct. Yeah. Publicly. Yeah. That is the only two that are out. And then there are, uh, you know, many other pilots, uh, that are kicking off as well or already in flight. Spencer, I imagine that, you know, this is, we've been talking, we talked to you a long time ago, um, when you kind of started rolling out with American Eagle, mm -hmm. but why have retailers been so slow to adopt RFID, do you think? And and how kind of give us a sense of how you see the future landscape playing out. Like, will 
will more retailers start using handheld scanners and then move to systems like yours? Like what, where are you placing your bets? You don't have to give any specific bet that you're going to place yet. I won't put that on you, but, but where are you placing your theoretical bets? Uh, yeah. I mean, I think handhelds are going completely away. Um, I think okay. handheld- how come, how come? Uh, because they're, they're a technology that was driven by technical limitations of RFID tags themselves. Okay. They're no longer necessary. Um, so it's like, you know, 10 years ago, handhelds were really needed to make RFID work because you had these tags where, you know, transistors were larger. You needed a lot more energy to power them up. It's get really close to them to read them. Now you can read these tags from so far away. It's really about, okay, how far away can you read them from? How few sensors do you need on the ceiling to cover the store? And then, you know, how accurately can you locate now that you're reading them from really far away? Um, so that's kind of the dynamic that's shifting. And I, I really think handhelds will be completely a thing of the past in the same way like barcodes will be a thing in the past, you know, in the next five, 10 years. Wow. So Spencer, I want to press you a little bit on that too. So mm-hmm. like one of the things we always hear when we talk to people about RFID is the accuracy. And and yeah. and one of the good things about the overhead readers is you get the real time data flow. So so how are you solving how are you solving the accuracy problem comparative to others? Yeah. So I mean we've worked really hard on our our uh, receiver. So you know I can say that in you know stores with you know call it 65 to 100,000 items, we're hitting a 99.8% detect rate. Um, better than you'll ever get with handhelds because handhelds, you have to factor in human error because people don't always mm-hmm. do as consistently a job every day, day in and day out as a system that's 24 seven counting things. Like I'll tell you this much right now, we're doing 13 billion tag reads per day in American Eagle. Um, that's how frequently we're pinging their, their, their inventory. Wow. Wow. Well, man, thanks for coming on. Thanks for uh, thanks for sharing your insight with us, and it's really great to have you. And uh, appreciate you taking the time to sit down with us. Yeah, likewise, this is fun, and uh, I appreciate it. And uh, looking forward to uh, circling back in, in the hopefully the near future. Thanks, you Spencer. And I both. Thanks, Spencer. <laughs>